Okay, so this video is going to be on how to do a raster to vector in Illustrator for using an EasyCAD 2 for a laser engraving. Um, if you're doing laser engraving, you're more than likely you're going to have a customer that's going to want a logo engraved. Um, this is not going to apply to like photographs because that's a, a different, that's handled differently. Um, what you want to do is you need to find logos or images that don't have shading and few colors. So let's just say, for example, we're going to look up logos. Okay. And what you want to do is over here in tools, uh, we're going to go to images, tools, and then you're going to go to colors and you really want to look for black and white. And this is going to be, the best type of logo or image to convert to a vector file because you'll only have your outlines and you'll get uh, closed vectors that you can engrave. And uh, a lot of times some of these pictures will be pretty fall, pretty small format and you'll have pixelation on curves and angle lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for size and we're going to look for larger than uh, 1024 is usually works out okay, but let's say two megapixels. So these are all going to be fairly good size images to convert over to a vector. Um, let's just, let's find something interesting. The wolf actually looked pretty cool. So let's go, let's, maybe it's a smaller file. Um, okay. I like that. I like that wolf that we saw. There we go. All right, so that's 716 by 912. It might be too small. Uh, but when you find your, you know, something that you like or you find your customer's logo on their website or, you know, maybe they can provide that file to you, let's click on that. Now, we have a couple of options here. We could right-click and save the image and then keep an eye on where it's going. I'll save that. Now let's click on it. Let's go to the website because you may find a bigger image or a higher resolution on their website. Oh, and this, uh, this is going to give us a different set of options. So now when we right click, we take a snapshot and this is a Firefox thing, I think. So we can do that and we can download that. And now let's go over to our files, where the file's at. And we have two, we have this one and we have the screenshot. So our screenshot is 513 by 655. And our other one is 716 by 912. So this one's bigger, so we're gonna use this one. So normally what I do now is from the download folders, let's close all that. I'll take this and I'll drag this into Illustrator. Now this is not vectorized. This is a raster. Now in Illustrator, when you click on it, you're going to get a menu that's going to pop up that's going to say image trace. And this is the tool in Illustrator you're going to use to take this raster and change it into a vector. Uh, you're, depending on your version of uh, Illustrator, this may came, come up on the right-hand side, or you may need to go to uh, Windows, and then, where is it, Image Trace. Okay, so if you don't see, if you don't see this pop up when you click on it, now it won't show up until you click on it, and then you'll get this option, or you can go to Windows. Where to go? Image trace. And now you're going to get your other tool window that's going to pop up. So let me get rid of these so they don't. They're not in the way. Okay. So this tool, this tool palette here is where you're going to adjust the tr the threshold for where Illustrator is going to define boundaries between transitions and pixel values to 
draw lines and fills. Uh, the first thing I normally do is I go down here to view is I want to, I want to view the tracing with the results. Okay. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to ignore whites because we don't need to have a separate border for whites and blacks. Uh, that'll give us double vectors. I spoke about in another video. Let's go to trace. Oh, this didn't take. So we're going to go back to trace results with outlines. So now this lets us see where Illustrator is going to show us what the vectors are going to be. So all the light blue aqua color is where the vector is going to be when we expand this. So this logo worked out pretty good because it, it's pretty clean. Um, over here where the threshold is, you can change the threshold and you'll see some of these details. So it helps to have the original pulled up on another window so you can see where the definition is in some of the some of the artwork. If we turn the threshold too da down too far, we lost the gray eye. So a lot of this is playing with some of these settings. So paths, if we turn the paths down, we see that we lose a lot of the detail in the border. So depending on the artwork, we might want to have high paths and we're going to pull in all this detail back in. Now corners are how much of these points do we want? If I turn the corners way down, you'll get less, uh, less points. I don't know why that's, this, this is not a good example for that. Uh, noise is another setting to filter out some noise. Uh, for other type of raster image, you'll have to play with these settings to get it, uh, get a result that you like. For now, let's just, let's stick with this. I'll, I'll do another one on something that's more complex. So right now we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to expand this. And what it's going to do, you now have vector artwork. So these are all the vectors. Now for easy CAD two, we don't need to have this fill in here. We're going to do that with the hatch pattern. So what I'll do is I'll select the, go over to the fill color, hold down the shift button, pull down the arrow key, and I'll get rid of the fill. And then what I'll do is I'll give the, the line a color. You got to do shift black. Let's turn the point size way down. And that is your vector artwork for EasyCAD 2. Now, as I said before, EasyCAD 2 will take DXF files and AI files if you save the AI file as a older, older version. So let's go over to File, Save As. I'll leave it in my download folder. Save. And you're going to get this pop-up window for options. So my version of EasyCAD 2 is 2.9.4, and it likes Adobe Illustrator version 3. Ignore this warning because you're going to lose uh, with this version. You're going to you're going to lose a lot of compatibility with other programs, but we're not worried about that. Click OK. You're going to get another warning. It's an older format. Yeah, we don't care. OK. All right, so let's reduce this and let's pull up EasyCAD 2, which I already had open. Now, I did other videos with other settings. I'm in the office, so none of these settings are what I'm actually using on my machine. So over here, you go to File, Import Vectors. We're going to go... Oh, it crashed. Look at that. All right, let's 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 save this again. File, save as King Husky Head. It's already there. All right. Let's try this again. This is why you save, save your work in EasyCAD 2. Can I find the dongle? Yeah, I don't care. File, import vectors. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm an idiot. I saved it to a different directory, different download folder. So file, import vectors. You're going to find your, your AI file, put it to the center, and open. And there is your vectorized image. And then we'll take a look at this. Select the whole thing, get your hatch pattern, and voila. You have a logo to engrave. And there's your hatch pattern. I just did this with one pen. They're all using the same one. Anyway, that's the process for going from Adobe Illustrator raster to image trace to EasyCAD 2. And then I will play with a, another version of a image that needs more work and more tweaking in Illustrator to get uh, a result that you're looking for.